Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. It's been a while, it's been many moons since I played this game. There's been quite a few updates since I played last. And I saw in the patch notes that there's a new... There's a new thing. There's many new things, but under uh, the lab here... We're gonna play survival. Under the lab there's this thing called Skewed Asteroid. Which has a fixed seed, so everyone who plays this gets the same exact map with all the exact same conditions. So I'm gonna try this thing out. And if you guys want to play along, it makes it really easy, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, I haven't recorded for a while. Uh, I was supposed to go on a cycling trip, but uh, where I live and where I was going to go cycle, there was major, major forest fires. So I had to postpone my trip. And uh, so that's part of the reason I didn't record, and also just taking a bit of a break. But yeah, I haven't played Oxygen Not Included for a while. We're on the Spaced Out DLC. <clears throat> Let's see who we start with here. Right, we're going to name the colony as well. Hospital. It's been a while since I played, so I'm going to be very rusty. Dimension. Uh, the Dangerous Colony. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Now, I usually go for... I usually go for a digger. I'm not al allergic. Uh, let's re-roll this one until we get some pretty good stuff. That's fine. Gourmet. <clears throat> Sounds good. As you go for a digger, a builder, I probably should go for a rancher. I'm going to go for a rancher because I do like to ranch. Uh, let's re-roll Max here. I'm going for good husbandry. That's pretty good. And then a either a scientist. Yeah, I like a, sci I li I like a dedicated scientist. Everyone can do science, but sorry, researcher. Uh, eight science, that's good enough. Shabby dresser, sure, let's embark. Here we go. Now everyone, like I said, whoa, <laughs> that's new. <laughs> Had to tilt my head there. This, oh my gosh, it is tilted. Oh man. Oh, this is weird. I've actually never played this or never seen this. I just read the patch note saying there's a fixed seat. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, that actually is quite weird. Hmm. This will make things interesting. Well, water still flows. Gravity's still working. It's just like the uh, map generation is all like sideways. Okay, this is interesting. Temperature. Temperature is good here. Well, hmm. I'm going to try to play differently. I always play kind of in the same way. I'm going to try to mix it up this time. Now, I do like to collect my water into one place, so I will do that. We'll make some dig orders here. Get them over here. Actually, there's not much oxygen in here. Let's crack this open here. Get these guys going. Guys and gals. Joshua, Steve, and Mima. We'll get in here. Now, I do like to make them bathroom as soon as possible. So they don't uh, do their, their duty on the ground. We'll have to find some dirt for that, though. There's some dirt down there. Now, they could fall in this hole, but they should be able to hop over. They are really good at getting stuck. Actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow them to dig up there. Still get stuck. I'll try to play slowly, not go too fast. Because, yeah, like I said, it's been a while. We do start with some food, but... Okay, we're going to try to get these little pockets of oxygen, and we'll try to get some starting food. So we'll head over this way. Now, like I said, I want to build a... I want to build a toilet right away. Plumbing. Uh, we should probably build a sink thing first. And to get the sink thing... I'm going to pause here. Should we try to get this water for the sink? It's probably the closest. We could try to go down here instead. I think this looks more accessible. So let's maybe make a ladder up here and get in here and then put a pitch a pump in here or something. If we have it, pitch a pump. Yeah, we start with that. We'll put that right there. Hopefully that all works out and they don't get stuck in this hole. <clears throat> they could. It's possible. <laughs> They are good at getting stuck. Now, this bug is going to keep them up at night. 
So we'll have to trap them in there. Maybe we'll do it door here. Or we could just kill off the bug. I don't know. Okay, a pitch-up pump and then a sink. It's under medical, I think. Like I said, it's been many months. We could put the toilet... Uh, let's put the toilet down off in a little side room here. So they can't... Uh, yeah, we'll stick it in here. So first things first, we'll get the uh, hygiene thing going here. Medical, wash basin, we'll put that here and we'll put the toilet right there. But they gotta dig this out first. Now, how are their, how are their bladders? Bladder, 28%, I think we're okay. As long as they don't actually go to sleep, it's gonna, it's halfway through the day here. Oxygen is looking a little bit, uh, a little bit iffy. So we'll get to this little pocket of water, and then uh, oh, there's a steam geyser here. Steam. Ooh, this is hot, <clears throat> very hot. Okay, let's hatch. We should probably start putting some things away as well, or the hatch will eat everything. But here we are. Is he going to be able to build this? Oh, there goes the hatch. Sorry, hatch. Uh-oh. Drowning hatch. Well, we'll have some meat here in a second. Yeah, he's able to build that. Okay, good. Now, my main ladder. I guess we have this ladder here. We could just keep going with that. Oh, no. This is going to be the bathroom. Maybe we'll do the ladder down here. I'm not sure where we're going to go down here. Uh, Let's go down. If they dig that, they're going to get trapped. So many things to consider. Oh, we're getting oxygen from here, so that's good. Hmm. We could safely do the ladder here. Maybe put some beds in here. Oh, having trouble breathing down in the bathroom here. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. We could dig this out, and hopefully the CO2 will collect down here. And the tutorial's off. We're also going to need to get science going, but uh, I do like to get the bathroom stick. You know what? I'm going to cancel this for now. <clears throat> so they get the water going. We'll make this priority seven. There, they're putting the water in the thingy. Okay. Plumbing. If they do have an accident, uh, it could end up in the water supply down here. We'll have to deal with the CO2 down here. Okay, they're standing around. Let's give them something to do. They can come up this way. Well, science, research. Uh, where is that? Stations. Research station. We can do a little bit of research over here, maybe. Uh, we'll put it over here. I, I like to keep the heat away from the main core base. We need the CO2 to go somewhere. We can't have this bathroom like this. So maybe we'll do... Hmm. We could dig a little CO2 pit, pit down here, and it's okay if they don't wash their hands down here. Let's do this. Should we do that? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> we could do uh, an oxygen maker down here. I don't want to open this up yet too much. Research coming online. We need power for that. Oops. Slow that down again. <clears throat> Blueprints coming in. Yeah, we definitely have to get rid of the CO2. How many tiles do we have? Two on that side, two on that side. Maybe we'll go down this way too. Why not? As long as we don't crack this open completely. We are going to need airflow here for this oxygen to get out. So I am actually going to remove that tile. And let's think about maybe getting some oxygen makers in here. Oxygen, oxygen, algae, diffuser, yeah. We could put that here. Because why not? And then a battery. A little mini battery. This will be... This won't last very long, but we'll get it going. And then we need a runner up in the oxygen, maybe. So they can actually breathe. 
Okay. The sink doesn't matter because they can't go the other way. They have to use the bathroom and then wash their hands. And hopefully they don't all go at the same time. We'll need to exp expand this bathroom later on. In fact, we could think about doing that pretty soon here. I guess I could go medium speed. It's probably safe. I'm gonna crack this open. Okay, it's eating time. It's sleeping time. No, it's eating time. Resting time. They don't have a bed yet. That's okay. Usually I have some beds up before they go to sleep here, but the stress is not too bad. So it should be okay. In fact, stress doesn't actually become an issue until we start giving them skilling up and jobs and stuff. We can probably blast through the night though. Okay, so they got through the toilet. That's good. Let's make the priority in the toilet a seven as well. And we'll make the, uh, that's okay. Okay, they're sleeping on the ground. Cute little dupes sleeping on the ground. I think I'll make a floor along here. I'll leave this open so that the air can flow out. The oxygen can come up and the CO2 can go down and hopefully the CO2 will accumulate down there. There we got power going on. Someone should jump on that probably. As long as there's no not too much else to do. We got wiring, we got power, we got a battery. There we go, battery getting charged up. Now they're just going to generate a little bit of heat, but I don't think it's going to be too excessive. Okay, oxygen diffuser is up. I'm going to crack this open as much as I can. There goes the algae. <coughs> now, um, I'm going to open this up a little bit. Okay, let's go down here maybe. Blower a little bit, spelunk down to the bottom. Okay, oxygen's going. We sh should get some oxygen here now. We should probably think about some beds. Get some beds going. Now, I like to leave a tile to the right and the left of the ladder for future expansion and for airflow. So that's why I do that. Um, we'll put a, a set of bedrooms in here. If I can find it. Furniture? There they go. Cots. Oh wait, actually that's not where I want it. Cancel. Cancel that. I want, like I said, a tile on either side. Then we need a door to make it a room. Tile, room. There we go. The B key copies whatever you have selected, so that's really handy. Now we need three cots. We're probably going to need four. Uh, furniture cots. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, I don't think digging up oxalate has an issue. We'll put four beds in. It used to be that you get half the oxalate if you dug it up, but I think it doesn't do that anymore, so we'll dig it up. <clears throat> okay, the CO2 is not really escaping. Let's uh, open this up, and we'll make a little CO2 pit down here. In fact, we could probably let the CO2 fall down here for now. Actually, they might have a bathroom accident. I I'm not going to open that up. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Achievements earned. We're on full speed. I'll slow it back down here. Give them a little headroom here. And we'll start to put in a ceiling. Oh, this is not a room. We'll have to put tiles there. We'll make this a bit more important. Okay, bathroom break. Oh wow, psycho, that psycho went fast. Back to bed. Now they have a bed. Well, they don't have bedrooms. Uh oh, the bug. Hmm. Time for some priorities. Attacking. Let's make uh, Mima super attacker. And I'm gonna unfortunately slay the bug. I'm going to make it an emergency, otherwise they're going to... There we go. Red alert off. <laughs> Back to bed. Yeah, otherwise they're not going to get a good sleep. If that bug's keeping them up all night. And this little hatch. Hmm, he's going to eat all our metal. Let's make a little box here. Put some storage here. 
Day three, cycle three. We'll put metal in here. The CO2 is still an issue down here, but what are we gonna do? Uh, I guess we could open this up. We could put a door here and make sure they don't use it. Lock them out of that door. Or make them only go to the right through this door. There we go. So they can go into the bathroom and they have to come out this way. Hopefully that works. Okay, the reason I did one tile at a time here is sometimes they can get stuck. And I find it safer to do this way. And we'll do the same thing down here. Get them a proper floor so it looks nice. And we should have another dupe coming pretty soon. Now I'll put some metal in here. What do we got here? Metal ore. Let's stick that in there. Is that all metal ore? Yeah, it's the only metal ore we have. Priority four, not as important as everything else. Lots of stuff falling down there. How's our food? 18,000 calories. We should be able to find lots of food just kind of out on the map and stuff. But we really have the CO2 issue going on. Hmm. I'm gonna go down here. Well, yeah. Uh, do we want that? Because this is the bathroom. Hmm. Hmm. We could come through here. and give them some space to put all that CO2. Eventually we'll deal with it. We'll do something that sucks up... Uh oh all our stuff is falling down there. Eventually we'll do something that lets them uh, destroy the CO2. But for now, we can just let it collect and compress. As long as we got oxygen pumping, max gas pressure, that's good to see. Finish off the room here. I might do private bedrooms this this run around. Okay, what do we got doing here? There's a there's a harvest button here somewhere here. Dig. Let's just dig up the muck root. <clears throat> okay. Um, we got to do. Let's see. Let's slow things down and see where we're at. Here, choose a blueprint. Fertilizer. We got a chef. Super duper digger. Slow learner, that's fine. As long as there's no farters. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Who is this? Bunny. Welcome, Bunny. Oh, I broke the bathroom. Okay, I better fix that. In fact, we'll make a proper floor of that bathroom. Okay, we can also start going this way. There's a plant here. I'm going to dig it up. I guess we should think about research. So let's build this power line over to here. And there's a harvest thing here. Attack. I forget where it is. Disconnect. Harvest. There we go. Let's harvest this muckroot down here. The natural muckroot. Oh, we've lost our floor. I think I'm going to remove this food container. <clears throat> and we'll try to find a place for the food, but for now it's okay. Oh, they're all eaten. I guess we should think about uh, making them somewhere to eat. Give them a little place to eat. I seem to have put this bedroom in the middle of my ladder. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> we'll put a little bedroom, I mean, um, eatery. Maybe off to the side here. Doesn't need to be that big. Off to bed you go. In the morning they can finish up their bedroom here. And we'll put another slot here for another bed. The sand's going to fall down. Well, let's dig it from here before it falls through. And then we'll put the ceiling in. We'll do the ceiling first and then the cavern after. Now, I'm probably going to take on 20 dupes. That's usually what I go for. It seems to be a good manageable amount. Sometimes I've done 100 in the past and that's just too much. Too much lag. Let's see how it goes. And there's no rush to take the dupes. It does help speed along the colony, but... Oh, there's lava right here. Magma. Jeez, we got to make sure this... Our starting area doesn't overheat. 
Now there's a screenshot mode. I forget how to do it. Uh, control. Oh, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'll look it up later. Okay, science. No research focus. Okay, let's see what we should do here. In the research tree. Oh, meal prep and mess tables would be nice. Let's do that first. And I should probably... Who's best at science? Let's just check out the priorities here. Skills. Uh, who's our who's our scientist? Uh, science. That was... Steve. Steve's our science person. Priorities. Research. We'll make it very low for everyone except for Steve. We'll make it a bit higher. There, Steve's on the... He's on it. Okay, CO2's collecting there. That's a fine place for it to collect. Our water supply for the moment is okay. Let's think about a mess hall here. We need to make this a room. Let's put a ceiling in. Dig this out. I'm good. Research complete already? Wow. That's why I take a that's why I take a dedicated research researcher. They just fly to the research. Okay, perfect. We'll get uh, some mess tables in here pretty soon. I I've blocked them in here. Uh, this water pumps this water will come down eventually. In fact we can help it along use putting a ladder there. Now they'll get their little toes wet when they go in there, but that's okay. I have mess tables here in a sec. I might put a more permanent, bigger bathroom in here, but this, this two is... If the toilet gets overflowing, it's actually kind of not great. So you know what? I'm going to put an actual bathroom over here. We'll put... Uh, we'll put... Uh, how many do we need? Three is probably enough. Two's probably enough. Okay, ceiling collapse. Where? Okay, you're okay. Oh, you're stuck. Uh oh, this is not good. Um, he'll he'll be okay. Oh, that was a little bit a uh, little bit scary. Let's slow things back down here. Research. What should we do next? Ba big batteries would be nice. Coal power would be nice. Okay, should I go for the full-size bathroom right away? Nah, we'll go with two here. We'll go two outhouses. You know what? We'll leave room. We'll leave room for four sinks and four toilets. One, two. So that'll be sinks, and then we'll put toilets here. Make it a room. Let's check our room overlay. Where is that? Uh, room overlay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess I can see it up here. There we go. We got one barracks, and we don't have a mess hall yet. We don't have a proper bathroom. Oh yeah, I didn't turn that into a room. Hmm. That's okay. Oh, they're all eating on the ground. That's okay, I guess. We'll let them blast through the night. Oh, this toilet's getting pretty, uh, getting pretty full, but we're gonna have two more here in a second. Okay, mess hall. Furniture. Mess table. Put uh, four in here. Water level's coming down. That's good. <clears throat> we should think about our future water supply. Now, I, I am worried about this heat leaking through. So we'll want to insulate that. At some point. We probably should think about food as well. Because there's only so much starting food out there. Hmm. Some free food down here. We like free delicious food. Some muck fruit down there. What about up this way? Maybe we should go up. Let's go up. We're gonna break through this CO2 seal, but that's okay, I think. It'll end up down here somewhere. Down here in our main cavern. Should I break through there? Mm, uh, whatever, it's fine. Get some algae along the way. 
I'll consider cleaning up the mess here as well at some point. Research complete. What was that? That was, uh, batteries. Big batteries. Okay. We're getting a little bit of heat generation here. We want to keep the heat away from our food. When we grow food, we do not want lots of heat. And I gotta insulate this off or this will cook the colony. The early game is all about oxygen and food and then mid game is about heat. Making sure heat doesn't bake everything. That's what gets a lot of players. Oh, there's a little science thing here. A relic room or whatever it's called. There's a bunch of new stuff in the game that I'll be ex just exploring and learning as we go here. We can open these doors. I like to open the doors. We keep the Maybe we'll keep the bedroom one door auto. So that the shine bugs don't go in there. But the mess hall, we can open that up. It's an actual room now. It should be a mess hall. Yeah, there we go. I think we can open this up a little bit more. Expand. <clears throat> We're gonna have a fifth dupe here, so we'll put in another one of these. No research. Okay, we want to get uh, airflow tiles. They're pretty useful. Where are they? Down here. Pressure management. And good. We can put a floor in here. We'll start with two of these. Now the sinks, since there's a no way to get back here, we don't we don't have to make these direction left or right. They, if they wash their hands twice, that, that's fine. That's kind of redundant, but you know what? Let's just make it on the way out. We'll do it properly. Okay, and let's make sure these are priority seven. This should be a room now. This is a latrine, good. Now I'm gonna remove this old toilet an old sink since this is going to be the new and improved bathroom that sand is going to fall let's dig that first go back to medium speed don't want to go too fast actually it's nighttime <laughs> we'll get some mess tables ready for our fifth dupe who's coming up here any moment And they should start to have some skills. Oh yeah, they got some skills here. Bonnie, what were you? You were uh, going to be... We'll probably make you our chef, maybe. I don't know. Steve, you're the science guy. Where's my science hat? Oh, I got to do things in here first. Advanced research. There we go. And they love farming and cooking. Hmm. Should we have a cook? We'll probably do cooking before farming. Maybe. Um, they have super duper hard digging already. Maybe they should just be a digger for now. They love cooking though. Uh, let's do f farming. We'll find a chef later on. Farming. There we go. There's a video on duplicate morale. We'll skip that. The little, these tutorial videos are pretty cute. I guess we could put a floor tile there. Do we have airflow yet? Do we get it? No, not yet. Soon. Then we'll start to put some nice airflow in here. And I should probably crack this open. Let's just keep exploring up. Up, 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 up. We'll make this priority three. Not a big priority. Hmm. Let's think about some food, maybe. It can be something simple to start here. Food. Farm tiles. Yeah, we could do some farming down here, maybe. Under here, maybe. Uh, let's do some farming right here. How's the temperature here? Good temperature. We'll do some mealwood in here. We're going to need a tile here. That's where the door goes. <clears throat> so, we'll put a door there. We'll make it a room. Yeah, 
This is producing heat. This is producing heat. This is producing a little tiny bit of heat. Those are algae. We have um, resources. Uh, see all. I want to see coal. I want to see. Uh, Stop. See metal, algae. Sure. Yeah, research is done. I think we have airflow tiles now. So, let us let the air flow. This will let the CO2 fall through. I think I'll put those here. By the walls, maybe, to start. And by this wall here, 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 and here. Okay. Looking good. <clears throat> Lots of stuff for them to do. And we should probably consider more research. What should we do next? Art could be useful. I don't know if it's critical. Decontamination can be nice. That requires advanced research. We're not there yet. Uh, we need a thing to do advanced research first. Advanced research. Let's get that ready. We're going to need airflow here. You know what? I'm going to put airflow here instead. So the CO2 has somewhere to go. My CO2 pit's kind of... Uh... CO2 in the farm room is okay. As long as it don't get stuck in here too long. Open that up. Muckroot. We're going to do mealwood. Very six. Start the food supply going. Now... Mealwood's not the best stuff. But it's not the worst stuff. I'm gonna leave this open here so they can get a little bit of air. Now they're picking up the ore. I think I'll put um another container here for now. We'll make this a sweep only one. Okay, we got another dupe. Anyone we like here? We got a Luddite, uh, Animal Lover, Biohazard, Glow Stick, emits low amounts of rads. Jeez. Arc Night Goat. What the heck is this? Night. Nick. <laughs> Nictophobic. Requires light to sleep. Oh, I don't want that. Animal Lover. I'm not loving. I like her hair. Green thumb. Mm. Stress reaction. Banshee. Jeez. Uh, I don't usually get them to the stress point. <clears throat> Let's do this. We'll skip the dupe for now. We're looking for the elite, the elite force here. The elite dupe force. Now let's make sure all these floors are four high. Yeah, that's working so far. I said I wanted to change things up a little bit. Um... So far, I guess I really haven't done that. <laughs> but uh, I do have some ideas for things that will be slightly different. They're not like in this oxygen situation down here. But they can escape it. I think we're running out of mealwood seeds. We probably want to go look for some more. They're not really doing these airflow tiles, and I'm not quite sure why. Let's bump that up a bit. I'll let them work on that. I don't think I have enough seeds for all this down here, but let's just make this a priority two for now. When they get around to it. They got beds. That's good. Out of power. Keeping an eye on the calories. Keeping an eye on the water. Keeping an eye on everything. <laughs> Generator idle. I'll make that a six. We got priority creep already. <laughs> okay. They're working on the airflow. Good. I like to see it. So let's put another couple of tiles here. Okay, airflow's going in nicely. 
This airflow here is going to look a bit funny, but that's okay. Can't have too much airflow, right? Change those up. Coming together. It's coming together. Down to medium speed for the daytime. Now the heat. Not a not a, an emergency yet, but also we don't want it to get too hot. This is really hot here. This is abyss light. This should actually keep the heat in. It's kind of warm here though. There's muckroot. Oh yeah, I need a place for them to put all the muckroot. I want to store that in the CO2. We'll make a little muckroot pit down here. Food. Uh, ration box. We'll stick the ration box down in a little hole down here. Some reason I can't dig that. Oh, they're automatically digging here. Okay, I see. Food and CO2 last a little bit longer. Put some ladders on top, maybe? No, that'll block them. Yeah, we'll put all food in here. I think. I think it's safe. <clears throat> Actually, we don't need to put... Nutrient bars don't rot. Oh, we'll put all the food in there. Whatever, it's fine. Party 7. Okay, how's our algae? We got 4,000 kilograms of algae. That's okay for now. We'll get the food in the box. Speed, we're stuck here. Now, the next water reserve. We'll tap this one next, I think. What are we doing for time? 36 minutes. We're good. We got room for our fifth tube. I guess we could put a few more nest on the tables in here. Once this water's gone, we can open this up a little bit. Research. Okay. Uh, sick bay, air systems. Oh, sanitation would be nice. Proper toilets would be nice. Looking okay. I guess we need airflow here for everything to be symmetrical. My ladders aren't symmetrical, but that's okay. Now the water situation. Hmm. I guess we could put a... How are we going to do this? We'll put a... How do I want to do this? We'll put a... This like this. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but we'll get this figured out. We'll tap this water somehow. So that when this runs out, we have another supply. You little bugger, eating my stuff. That's that's okay, that's okay. We should probably ranch these guys. We should consider ranching. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Unrusted, too bright. Let's check our light overlay here. Oh yeah, shine bugs. Shine bugs, I find, have no real purpose, so... We're gonna murder them. You can ranch them, and you can make nuclear, like, light reactors out of them. But other than that, I'm not a big fan of shine bugs. If your sleep is always being interrupted by shine bugs, would you, uh. Would you be into them? I don't know. <coughs> Speaking of shine bugs, they're in here. I guess they can stay safely in there. Should probably switch to a big battery. And I'll probably try to put the heat near the top here. Let's put a big battery up here, up top. Power. Manual generator. No, I want the big battery up here. We'll put the heat up here and we'll try to keep it cool down here. need a wire. I guess we'll run that along the low. Through the walls, maybe? Yeah, let's do it through the walls. Hide it as much as we can. Sometimes I do it along the ladder, but it's better to have it in the walls, I guess. Yeah, that research went fast. Uh, I'll just keep working my way through this stuff. Any emergency stuff? Art can be nice. Certainly not an emergency. I'm going to put the priorities right, right low. One. Collecting stuff off the floor is not, like, a big priority. Now, we could do coal power. 
I, I don't think we need it just yet. We're exposing what's up here. It's pretty warm up here. 38. Too warm. Doing their stuff. Okay, a battery's hooked up. I can take this little battery out. Deconstruct that. Oh yeah, heat up here. Could do the research up here as well. In fact, let's do the research up here. And we'll get rid of this one once that one's built. And I think I set this stuff too low. Yeah, let's make this a six so we get this done. Now the polluted dirt. We look at our germs. The polluted dirt from the old bathroom is sitting here. I'm just going to leave it there. Now it is gassing off polluted oxygen, which we'll want to deodorize, which is under oxygen, I think, somewhere. No, it's probably under, where is it? Like I said, it's been a while since I played. What have we got here? I might not even have it yet. We could compost it. I'm not going to bother. Hmm. Maybe I haven't researched it yet. Deodorizer. Uh, do I even have it? Maybe it's advanced. I think it was de uh, advanced. Deodor. O. D. O. D. -er. Is it deodorizer? Yeah, decontamination. Deodorizer. Yeah, we need advanced research. We'll put an advanced research station up here. Supercomputer. Now, this thing runs pretty hot. So that's why I like to keep it up away from everything else. Okay. Time for a sip of water. And by sip of water, I mean me, not the dupes. Insufficient oxygen generation. Uh, it says that, but we're fine for now. Okay, let's plant some more meal. Should think about maybe doing mushrooms next, but we have to go find some mushrooms, which are out here somewhere. The mealwood will keep us going for a while. Now let's dig this completely open. In fact, let's go over one more. How wide is this? We want this to be 16 wide. Oh, I don't want to dig up my food though. That was a mistake. And there's some free food in here we should probably get. So we'll cap this off with another door. Uh, how do we want to do this? Put a wall here. And then they can get up through here. Oh, we can't dig that yet. Okay. Let's look at some skills here. Bonnie, you could do it if you had a skill point. Uh, did I pick a digger this time? Husbandry? Um, excavation, yes. Mima, you are the digger. Perfect. And Joshua, you are going to be our animal husbandry person. So you can need to do farming, then ranching. Okay, farming. Perfect. We have two farmers. One will be a farmer, one will be a rancher. I guess we'll put another tile here. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Uh, CO2 could collect in here, but that's okay. How's the food doing? Fruit. It doesn't need to be in there. It doesn't rot. But the other food will be fine in there. Ranching. You should think about ranching as well. Uh, super computer. Let's make the party six. Oh, it's getting worked on. Good. Same with this research station. Six. And we'll get rid of the old one here. Plant these and we got the seeds. We don't have the seeds yet. That's okay. And the shine bug, he will be trapped in there. Good. Okay. Harvest. Harvest. Let's harvest these automatically. And who do we have here? <clears throat> who and what do we have? Oh, rocketry. Flatulent. No thanks. Plant murder, agriculture, 
I don't like anemic, they're just too slow. Can't dig. Can't people who dupes that can't dig can get stuck. Plant murder. Other than that though, Jean, you're in. Welcome to the colony, Jean. Okay, they're getting the food situation going. How's the exploration? That was a low priority, right? Yeah, we'll get around to it. In fact, there they go. <laughs> We're gonna go across, get this food. Same thing here, we'll get all the free food. That sand will collapse in, but that's okay. Free food over here as well. And this is gonna be a floor here. One, two, three, four, and a tile. Come across here to harvest this. I like the free food. I like the naturally growing food because you don't have to do anything. It just grows and you get it. Like this one here. No work required. It's a lot slower. The natural food grows really slow. Uh, 12 cycles versus the, versus the domesticated is three cycles. So much faster. So this requires work, but this uh, actually, yeah, they got to add dirt and stuff. coming together. Research is being done. Decontamination. <clears throat> Let's see if there's any polluted oxygen out there. There probably, there should be, because the stuff's giving it off. Uh, polluted, where's my gas? Uh, what's this? Carbon dioxide. Polluted oxygen. Yeah, there's polluted oxygen in there. That'll eventually spread slime lungs. We don't want that. Deodorizer. Let's put that where the poopy, stinky stuff was. There's a layer of polluted oxygen in here. So we might want one of these down here as well. As that CO2 falls. Uh, hmm. How's our water? Water's good. It's important to get lavatories going early on. Because they produce water for you, or at least they used to. We'll take over here. We'll get this room ready here. Full size bathroom. Oh, these need, need power. I forgot these need power. Okay. Not the end of the world. These didn't used to need power in the olden days. Now they do. Okay, no research being done. Uh, what should we do here? Let's clear the filter. Air systems. We'll need the electrolyzer eventually, so let's do that next. Check our rooms. Mess all... This is giving morale plus one, morale plus three, morale plus one. This is 16 wide, right? 16, yeah, okay. Get that room ready. This door doesn't need to be here anymore. <laughs> Open that back up. Put a proper floor over here for future expansions. I like that it's refined. It's like a sculpture. I find like the map is like a sculpture. You just slowly refine it and refine it and refine it. Unreachable food. Hmm. That is never good. Oh, oh trapped. I think that was a false alarm. Maybe they were momentarily trapped. Now they're okay again. The CO2 being at this level is actually okay with me right now. It's keeping the food a little bit sterile.
Got a proper food thing in there. We should probably put that there. We need to get these hatches. This hatch is probably going to fall down into my food area and maybe eat start, start eating my food, which is not good. <clears throat> Research went back fast. Let's uh, do medical equipment. Okay, we don't need it yet, but we'll do it. I'm going to try to keep these episodes at one hour. And I'm not going to cut anything out, at least in the initial times, initial episodes. Don't know how far we'll go with the series, but meteor showers. Okay. Meteor bombardment. Uh, hopefully that won't affect us. <laughs> I don't think it will, but you never know. Let's do some harvesting here. We'll probably cut through here. No illumination on this thing. That's fine. Okay. Okay, where do we go next? Uh, we're still working our way up here. It's hot up there. It's really hot here. Food, oxygen, CO2. We sh should think about dealing with CO2. My my uh, solution for CO2 is to uh, big build a big cavern. <laughs> get, get to the oil biome and let the slicksters take care of it. Whoa, what's this? Fossil fragments. Okay, this is new. Petrified fossil. Hmm. In magma. Yikes. Okay, research is done. Let's start from the top and work our way to the bottom, maybe. Actually, ranching. I want ranching next. Where should we put the ranch? The ranch can be in a warm area, so we'll put it up here, maybe. We'll get rid of that natural food that's there. We will put the hatches up here. Give them a place to live. Now, the ranch is going to be much larger. Yeah, let's check the room dimensions here. I like uh, a height of 4 because 4 by 16 is 64 tiles in area. And these are what most rooms are, 64. You can see maximum size, 64. Uh, but the ra the ranch, it's not on the list yet because we don't have it. But like the Great Hall, it's a little bit a bit bigger of a room. Max size, 120. It's the max size. <clears throat> And we could mess with our priorities a little bit more, but for now, I don't really care. We'll focus, make them a little bit more focused later on. Like, once we get into cooking, we'll have one dedicated cook to start. How's this water situation? Still that? Our starting water is lasting quite a while. Okay, we'll think about doing toilets here. Toilets, lavatory, lavatory. We'll we'll have a mixture of toilets here. Medicine sink. It'll be a mixed bathroom. So this should be. I'm not going to use insulated yet because we're dealing with rather cool water. So we want to input. I usually do the input from the bottom and the output out the top. Input, output. Okay, and then the output has to go to a sieve. Yes, or a tank. Toilet out of order. Uh oh, we got both toilets out of order. Jeez Louise. Let's make those priority nine. In fact, I'm gonna make one of them an emergency. <laughs> Clean the toilet, please. Because if they have to go to the bathroom. Uh, bad things will happen. Okay, they're doing it. I'll set back to nine for now. You definitely don't want them going to the bathroom in your water supply. Made a mess like that. Where did they go? Where did they do it? Okay, they did it here. It's going to go down here. That's fine. That's not the end of the world. We'll mop that up before it's an issue. 
we might have multiple accidents. That was nicely contained. But if they if they lost it here and peed in this water, that would be terrible. Man, this is why you want to get off outhouses soon. They take forever to clean. Okay, mop that up. There you go. Mop it up. They're not mopping it up. <laughs> uh... There they go. It wasn't a high priority. Okay, we'll use this water to start our... Toilet thingy. It's gonna fall down. We're gonna put a pump here. Liquid pump. Here? Okay, toilets are done. We'll set this back to an eight, I guess. Okay, so pumping. Get the pump up here. I'll run it over top for now. That's the input. And then the output, I'll stick in a tank for now. Do we have a tank? I like having a buffer tank because bad things can go, can happen if it overflows because it makes more water than it uses. I just got to find out where the, here it is, improved plumbing. We want the liquid reservoir for that. In fact, I have the polluted water coming out this way. I might do the polluted water, water fixing thing over here. So we'll cancel that and we'll take the polluted water out this way. Yes, we'll do it that way. Oh, there's still some pee here. I'm just a little driblet of pee. Okay, we'll cancel that for now. Cancel that for now. Well, let's get two proper wash thingies going at first. Got a new dupe. Uh, what do we got here? Confetti outfit. Hatchling eggs. Anyone lovely here? I love his hair. Wait, I love your hair. I'm gonna go for this confetti suit. Because I think it's cool. Is someone gonna wear that automatically? No, let's uh, get Bonnie to wear that. Okay, so yeah. Unreachable dig. Because <clears throat> they gotta dig this here first. They should be able to get there. Yeah. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Hopefully we can get this project done before we end here. Maybe not. Put a door here. I guess we'll we'll let them come out here with dirty hands. That's okay. So the uh, the idea is water comes from here, goes into the sinks and lavatories, comes out here. It's going to go to a liquid reservoir, and then a sieve which will filter the water, and then eventually we can send it back into a loop. But eventually the water will build up, and we'll have to deal deal with it. But uh, maybe we'll do that next time. Because <laughs> it's going to take them a while to do this. And we're going to have to hook it, up, hook it up with power and stuff. Yeah, it'll take a while. They're doing a pretty good job at it, though. But we're at the one hour mark, so I'm going to slow things down here. And we'll continue on in episode two with the colony. Uh, if you guys feel like playing this map, uh, try it out. It's a, like I said, a fixed seed and maybe at cycle 100 or something you can send me your maps if you feel like it at grindthisgame at gmail.com and I can showcase them. We can compare all the bases at cycle 100. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.